Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Algorithm Pod. My name is Jitesh and I am here with a new video of our data mining series. So let's jump right into it. Make sure you watch this we watch this series from starting the starting of the video so that you can understand the concepts very clearly. So let's jump right into this video. So in this video we are going to discuss about data mining functionalities. Now, what uh, what can you understand by this term? functionalities let's try to some let's try to make something of it functionalities in the sense what actually you can do with data mining what kind of things that can be done with data mining so these are there are some functionalities which you can do in with the data mining so one of them let's get into one by one first is association rule learning this is one of the functionalities of data mining now association simply means how items are related to each other so let's say you have there are two to three guys how they are related to brothers some might be brothers some two guys might be related as brothers some might be friends some might be your girlfriend or boyfriend like that now in real time example the recommendation of e-commerce website so recommendation system so whenever you look for a mobile mobile phones on an e-commerce website and you purchase some mobile phones on on the on the e-commerce marketplace then you will get the similar products related to that particular mobile like headphones the charger charging cables etc like that and then the second one of the data data mining functionality is clustering clustering simply means grouping of data based on attributes certain attributes they will be certain attributes of particular data over a data set so you want to form the groups basically of uh, if, uh, so you basically want to form a group of this data based on certain characteristics like uh, like example let's say we have a multiplayer game now people are grouped basically whenever a new user is you might have noticed on those multiplayer games like we have servers from Asia, Africa, North America, Europe. So based on the location, you are grouped in these different different servers. So that is how clustering simply means grouping of data based on certain attributes or characteristics. Like in the multiplayer games, we use location as our characteristic. Now third one is classification. Classification simply means uh, dividing of particular data dividing a specific uh, dividing the data into a specific category like uh, like we have some people we have to characterize them into we have to characterize them based on the income of them uh, those who have more than 10 1 million net worth they will be classified as high high income those who are less than that are low income like that we have to categorize the people so that is classification now another one is regression regression in the sense there will be two terms in this one is dependent variable and another one is independent variable so what this regression does is it identifies the relationship between dependent variable and independent variable now we all know what is dependent and independent those who are not dependent are depending on some other variable I refer as independent variable we know that the next is anomaly detection anomaly detection in the sense like uh, we need to basically see any uh, see for any inaccuracies in the data some abnormality in the in a particular data set like detecting fraud in a data set of financial transactions which are not genuine like something like that the next is sequential patterns it is sequential pattern mining so sequential pattern mining is identifying patterns in a sequence of a data in a sequential manner it, it also discovers some patterns over a sequence of data now in this case we have seen we have it is written here like discovering patterns or in a sequence of customer purchases like what can you make of these purchases like in particular customer has purchased these many particular items in a specific period of time so sequential pattern mining concerns with what can be made of that particular data now next is text mining 
from unstructured text data basically extracting useful information from unstructured text data now look see and try to understand this data mining simply means extracting information from the data set it can be data data can be anything like it can be text data it can be a form of a uh, rows and columns or structured or unstructured it can be anything it simply means analyzing patterns or uh, extracting useful information over a specific set of data like in this case text mining text mining can be used to identify sentiment of the customer reviews like it is a positive negative or neutral like that so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like the video subscribe to our youtube channel hit the bell icon for new future notification so that's it guys for this video see you next time